ایٹین ہنڈریڈ آورز پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی عائشہ نایاب فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس پاکستان سیز نیو ڈیلیز ایکشنز ان انڈین الیگلی آکیوپائڈ جموں اینڈ کشمیر کلیئرلی پوز اے ڈینجر ٹو انٹرنیشنل پیس اینڈ سیکیورٹی ففٹی تھری مور ڈیتھ ڈیو ٹو کرونا وائرس انفیکشن اینڈ ون تھاؤزینڈ تھری فورٹی سکس نیو پازیٹیو کیسز ور رپورٹیڈ ان دا کنٹری ڈیورنگ دا لاسٹ ٹوینٹی فور آورز سعودی لیٹ ملٹری کلیشن ہیز انٹرسیپٹڈ اینڈ ڈسٹرائڈ این آرمڈ ڈرون لانچ ٹوڈ سدرن سعودی عربیہ In Myanmar, thousands of people marched for a second day in Yangon city today to protest against the military junta's coup and detention of elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi. And now the news in detail. Pakistan Permanent Representative to the United Nations, Munir Akram, in an article published in News Portal of World Body, has said India's action in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir clearly pose a danger to international peace and security. He said the Jammu and Kashmir dispute is one of the oldest unresolved issues on the agenda of the United Nations Security Council. Munir Akram said under international law, the people of Jammu and Kashmir have the right to restore their right to self-determination by any any means at their disposal including armed struggle he said however to justify its oppression india has sought to portray the legitimate kashmiri freedom struggle as terrorism pakistani envoy said the un and the international community have a responsibility to help resolve the jammu and kashmir dispute The United States State Department Urdu spokesperson Zaid Tarar has said President Joe Biden wants to immediate solution to Kashmir issue. In an interview, he said that President Joe Biden has made it clear that human rights are a fundamental issue for the United States. He also said that the U.S. understands that Kashmir is a human right issue and Washington wants that mobile service and 4G should be restored in Kashmir immediately. Zaid Tarar is a deputy director of the London Media House. hub where he handles media engagement through South Asia. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the General Secretary of National Conference Ali Muhammad Sagar has said the authorities have turned a blind eye to sufferings of the people of the territory. Talking to different delegations in Sirinagar, he said that Kashmir is looking for good governance and development activities, but the administration is clueless about the issues concerning the people. He said that the democratic system had been derailed by the brush of authoritarianism on August 5, 2019. 53 more deaths due to coronavirus infection and 1,346 new positive cases were reported in the country during the last 24 hours. The death toll due to pandemic has now reached 11,967 and there are 32,265 active cases in the country. 510,242 people stand recovered from the disease. Saudi led military coalition says it has intercepted and destroyed an armed drone launched towards southern Saudi Arabia. Coalition spokesman Colonel Turki Al Maliki in a statement in Riyadh said the bomb laden unmanned aerial vehicle was aimed to target civilians and civilian objects. Meanwhile, the United States Secretary of State Anthony Belkin in a telephonic conversation with Saudi counterpart Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud has discussed regional security, counterterrorism and cooperation to deter attacks on Saudi Arabia. Anthony Blinken also outlined several key priorities of the new administration including alleviating human rights issues and ending the war in Yemen. A European delegation consisting of ambassadors from different countries have arrived in Aden to discuss peace efforts with Yemen's government. The ambassador of France, Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Sweden, Ireland and Finland as well as deputy ambassador of Norway will also discuss the Riyadh agreement for comprehensive and lasting peace in the war-torn country. In Myanmar, thousands of people marched for a second day in Yangon city today to protest against the military junta's coup and detention of elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi.
Protesters carried a red balloons and color representing Sanskri's National League for Democracy Party and chanted, We want a democracy. Meanwhile, human rights group Amnesty International has called the internet shutdown reckless and warned it could put the people of Myanmar at risk of human rights violation. On the fourth day of last cricket test against South Africa and Rawalpindi, Pakistan in their second inning were 243 for eight a short while ago. Pakistan leads the two match series 1-0. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com forward slash radio Pakistan news official.